Hola. Bye. <laughs>
that's what they tried. Americans like to, to we, we, be luxurious. Right. We, <laughs> we want to make a statement. Yeah. It's not just point A to point B transportation. But you know, here again, I mean, even the front end and you know the the center crest and mm -hmm. everything, it's it's a pretty luxurious car. Kind of a nice bronze color and an amazingly plush interior. I mean, this is not what you think of when you think of Toyotas from back then. It's you know, it, it actually looks kind of like a GM interior, mm -hmm. e even in the fabric. This was like the high end of the Toyota. Yeah, and, and you know, automatic transmission, again, a, a very sporty dash, mm -hmm. and the, the fastback styling, because I guess behind us is, is a, another Corona Mark II, but that's the four-door, it's not nearly as nice. Yeah, this one was more liked because it looked, it would look more luxurious, and also it had a statement. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, with, with this car, being a six cylinder in a fairly light car was probably pretty fast. Yeah, it was. At least for that time it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at that six. Wow. So that is a that's a single overhead mm -hmm. cam engine and it's how big? Two liter? Two yeah. two thousand? Yeah. You could also see here. Yeah. Well you're talking about the Toyota. This is the Toyota old school. Th that's their old school logo? Yeah. So I mean this is really pretty much how it looked in seventy three. Yeah, everything is original. Every basically. nut and The bolt. only thing that has changed is the battery. It, it didn't <laughs> last that long in that time. No, no it didn't. <laughs> and it's kind of an interesting exhaust setup too. It comes out of a single mm -hmm. manifold, but then goes into two exhaust pipes. So you get dual exhaust out of a single manifold. Kind yeah. of almost. So you could get the speed. Yeah, fake, <laughs> fake dual exhaust. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is just so cool. But you've got so much cool here. Pick out something else. Let's go look at something else. Let's find something interesting. This was the first car in the collection. Yeah, this was where everything started. Me and my sister used to get in a lot of trouble for playing, playing in the it. back. <laughs> we used to hide in there. It used to be in our house garage. But it's original paint, uh, everything, everything even plastic still on the seats. I bet your dad wasn't thrilled when you were when he caught you playing. No, actually he used to say that this was supposed to be my car when I got my license. Didn't work out that way though. Well, I said that I would have taken it if I could sell it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I don't think the same way. I, I don't think so. No, I, I think I, I'd keep it. Yeah. Very cool. So this is pretty cool. Have you seen anything like this? Uh, no, I haven't. This looks like a car truck combo. Yeah. Once you see the Coronas with the four doors, yeah. it's basically that. They just cut the back part out and Made it into a truck. But then they trimmed it out nice. I mean, the chrome around the lip and everything. And it's, I've never seen one. It's pretty rare. And it was basically just to get everyone to get a Toyota. I think this is a really stylish little ride. And I get Ranchero. I get El Camino here. I mean, I think, I think that's what Toyota was copying in this. The trim and the tailgate, it just, it just feels Ranchero to me. But this probably would have been powered by a four-cylinder, right? Yeah, it is. Well, let's look at that baby. Let's see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's, that's uh, very different. That's just a regular push rod engine, 1600. Yeah. And it also magnificently restored. Pretty much showroom. It's basically just how it would have been when you got it off the dealer in 1969. Beautiful little car, truck, whatever. <laughs> very rare too, beautifully restored. What else you got? Let's see what I can find. Okay. Well, now this is kind of cool. This looks like an original unrestored Corona. What what year is this baby? This is a 1967. And is it unrestored? Yeah, it's everything on it is basically original, from the paint to the seats to the motor. Wow. You know, it, this body style is really interesting too, because this is a nice looking car, and if you if you kind of squint, it looks a little bit like a BMW 2002. Yeah, it does. This actually is a limited edition. What made it different was the seats and the rug. It's two colors. So this is now the two-tone interior. The, the carpets are red, seats black. Exactly. This was only for this car. The limited edition only had the backup lights under. Oh, so they're down here? Yeah. Okay, Normal, normally they'd be up, up in the... Exactly. Normally they'll be right there. And the ones that were not the limited edition, they actually they had, had them there. And I can see through the window back here, it's an automatic transmission. Yeah, it is. What, what engine did this have? 19. 19, 19 1.9. Yeah. Okay, well, let's look at that baby. Let's check that out. Okay, your basic four-cylinder Toyota there. Yep. And, you know, these things were very easy to work on and pretty easy to maintain. Yeah. If you just changed your oil and changed your pads and... They just ran yeah. forever, then they kind of still do. Yeah. 
cool, unrestored original, but I know you got more. Let's see what we can find. Well, now this is a cute little car. This is a, this is a Corolla. Corolla 1200, a fastback. Mm -hmm. What they call this, call this the Sprinter, right? Yeah. Even though it's a little car, only a 1200, got a pretty classy interior. Yeah, Corolla actually in Toyota is the car that has not been discontinued or stopped being made. They're still making it, yeah. they made it for a long, long yeah, time. Yeah, they have been, since they started making it, they have continued making it, they're still making it, and they have no plans of stopping, <laughs> stopping making, making it. <laughs> the thing that changes with the Corollas is not that there's like none inferior on top of it, it just was basically the car that was accessible to Everybody, people. yeah. So what year? This is a 1969. Wow, man, and you know, very good shape. Mm -hmm. And that only looks like a 12 or 13 inch, well, probably a 12 inch wheel, little, yeah. little wheel. And you know, fastback, so she looks pretty sporty. And it even has the Sprinter script here. It has a lot of details and it's very modern for its time, as you can already see. Yeah, now, now the 1200, that's gonna be the smallest engine we've looked at so far, let's, let's, let's see what the 1200 looks like. Wow, that is little. And it's slant mounted on. Mm -hmm. 1200 cc's. Boy, that's a little, little yeah. baby. <laughs> it is very tiny. <laughs> is this one restored? This has to be restored. This one was not restored. As you can see here, everything is original. Nothing has changed wow. or been taken out. Or just cleaned up. Yeah, just <laughs> basically cleaned. Really, really cleaned really up. Really clean. <laughs> wow, man, it's a. Sweet little engine and a sweet little Corolla. Let me put this baby back to sleep and there's a whole nother room over there. Let's go check it out. All right. Ooh, I like this. And this is the, this is the biggest Toyota we've looked at yet. Yes, <laughs> and you just found something very interesting. Yes, I did. So what is it? It's actually a Land Cruiser, but the interesting part is the FJ version. Like FJs like today? Sort of. That's where the FJs come Comes from. from. Exactly. Oh, okay. So this is what the FJs right now are like. There's a line that's in white, and yeah, then yeah. they have the color. Like right now, it oh, has yeah, the yeah, top. Yeah. So that's kind of where that 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 uh, color scheme comes yeah, from. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Just like the one we have behind us. Well, where does the FJ designation come from? They have the Land Cruisers, but to know which type of it, if it was uh, open back, if it was like this one, that's a big one, or... Oh, so this this was the FJ and then the serial number. Mm -hmm. which and meant then the it kind has of... a 75 or 55 or uh, 45. Okay. And then you know which type of box the Got FJ it. is. Got it. Well, and, and this blue, you'll, you'll see these blues in the new FJs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The FJs maintain the same color schemes as the old FJs. So they wanted to keep some of the old in the new. It's a, boy, I mean, it's a really boxy design. It's kind of Toyota's Suburban. Mm -hmm. And this one with a Washington State plate. Yeah. Here in Puerto Rico. So you know where we got it from. <laughs> I, I bet it came from Washington. Yeah, it did. Oh, man, I love it. So, so this had to take, I mean, this is a heavy vehicle. It had to take a much bigger engine to power it than anything we've seen to this point. This had a, how big? Let's check it out. All right, well, well it'll be a surprise. Just open it right here, I guess. Well, yep. You know, that's, that's that also, one's heavy. It's <laughs> a heavy hood. So we got a inline six, three liter. Exactly. Man. This and is again, a on a, <laughs> on a, and you can even see on a very beefy frame. I mean, these were tough vehicles. Yeah, they were. FGs are all terrain. Uh -huh. So this was made to get in the mud, have fun, get all your friends. It is a gnarly vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, Nicole, this has been an absolute blast. Fabulous collection. Do you have anything that we could take out and drive? I think I have just the thing for you. All Let's right, check babe. it out. <laughs> Close this baby up. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. So you think those will do? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's it's a, a Toyota Tiara. I never heard of that mark. Did they import those to the U.S.? No, actually, it was only in Japan and Australia. Oh, it's a right-hand drive. Do you think you can drive it? Can I drive a right-hand drive? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Three on the tree with your left hand. <laughs> a little bit different. I couldn't make it that easy well, for no, you. No, no, that's a bit of a challenge. But boy, it really it shifts beautifully. It, it fires right up. Padded dash. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, that's nice. This is like a luxury of the Tierra. The yeah, the deluxe. The, the luxe. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's a pretty good view. Yeah, that's a pretty good view. Cruising around Puerto Rico in a 63 Toyota Tierra with a lovely young woman. <laughs> I have died and gone to heaven. I think so. <laughs> so until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage from Puerto Rico. Happy motoring.